Hi everyone. Today in this video, let us discuss the differences between valproic acid and divalproic acids. Both valproic acid and divalproic acids are classified as anti-epileptic drugs. Interestingly, divalproic acids is a combination of valproic acid. That's why we can observe the prefix di, which indicates here two forms of the valproic acid are combined in a single formulation. Divalproic contains both valproic acid and sodium valproate in a ratio of one is to one. Therefore, it is a combination of valproic acid and its base in equal proportions. So, both of these medications contain the same component valproic acid. However, because of their difference in their formulations and composition, they can have different pharmacokinetic and pharmacodynamic properties. One of these medications are having less gastrointestinal side effects. Therefore, it is more preferred when people are having uh, significant uh, gastric problems. Among these two formulations, one is highly bioavailable and one of them produces consistent plasma levels of this medication. So in this video, let us discuss the differences and similarities between these two types of medications. Rate of absorption. Valproic acid is rapidly absorbed. So it reaches the peak plasma concentration within one to four hours after administration. On the other hand, divalproic is a combination of valproic acid and its sodium salt. Therefore, it shows less rate of absorption and it is slowly absorbed into the body. However, the absorption is more consistent and it produces a uniform rate of absorption of valproic acid from this divalproic. Valproic acid has a half-life of around 9 to 16 hours, which is somewhat similar with the divalproic sodium. However, divalproic produces a stable plasma concentrations of valproic acid due to regular rate of absorption. On the other hand, valproic acid can show peaks and troughs, so its plasma levels are not consistent due to rapid absorption of this medication. Type of doses form. Valproic acid is available as oral solution, capsules as well as injectable solution. So it is going to be preferred during the hospital settings where it can be given by injection. On the other hand, divalproic sodium is available as delayed release tablets or extended release tablets. These tablets contain both valproic acid and sodium valproate in 1 is to 1 ratio. Valproic acid is well known with its brand name Depakine and divalproic as Depakot. Next is the bioavailability. Valproic acid has high bioavailability. So even at small dose, it is sufficient to produce significant levels in the plasma. Therefore, it can be used at a low dose for treating epilepsy. On the other hand, divalproic sodium has less bioavailability compared with valproic acid. Even the bioavailability differs with type of formulation. The extended release tablets or ER tablets are having around 10 to 20 percent lower bioavailability than delayed release tablets. So within the divalproic formulations, variability can be observed and they are not bioequivalent. Clinical uses. Both valproic acid and divalproic can be used for the same clinical conditions. They are used as anti-epileptic agents. So they are particularly used in the treatment of epilepsy such as absence seizures or complex partial seizures. They can also be used for the treatment of bipolar disorder particularly to treat the manic episodes they can be used. Even these medications can also be used in the prophylaxis of migraine. Even though both of these medications are having the similar clinical indications, divalproic sodium can be more preferred in the people who require consistent plasma levels. Particularly in the bipolar disorder, the mood swings from mania to depression and vice versa. In such people, consistent levels of medication is required and any fluctuations in the plasma concentration of the medication may produce mood swings which is highly undesirable. Therefore, divalproic sodium is more preferred in the treatment of bipolar disorder where it produces a consistent plasma concentrations of the valproic acid thereby it produces less fluctuations in the side effects. 
on the other hand valproic acid is available as an injectable solution therefore it can be given in the hospitals as well as it's also available as oral solution so it can be used in the acute conditions dosing frequency valproic acid has a short duration of action therefore it requires multiple doses per day even it is available as a oral solution or injectable solution where it can be given at multiple doses based on the requirement on the other hand divalproic sodium is either given once or twice daily however the frequency of administration depends on the type of formulation we are going to use just we have discussed that divalproic er tablets differ from the divalproic dr tablets so extended release tablets and delayed release tablets are not releasing the medication in an equal way so the dosing frequency depends on the type of formulation that are going to be used because of their difference in the formulations divalproic sodium tablets are not interchangeable so you cannot switch the extended release tablets with delayed release tablets because of their difference in the bioavailability now let us the side effects of these two medications since divalproic is a combination of valproic acid and sodium valproate it produces a slow release of the medication therefore it has less gastrointestinal side effects particularly valproic acid can produce nausea and vomiting such type of side effects are less observed with uh, divalproic sodium apart from these both of these formulations can produce few other common side effects one of their common side effect is the induction of hepatotoxicity which is commonly observed in the young children therefore liver functionality should be checked while using both valproic acid or divalproic they can also produce weight gain and hair thinning thrombocytopenia is one of the hypersensitive reaction that can be observed with both of these medications in a few people these two medications can produce development of pancreatitis which can produce severe abdominal pain both of these medications are teratogenic in nature so they should be avoided in the pregnant women because these medications can produce few of the cognitive problems in the newborns onset of action valproic acid has a fast onset of action whereas divalproic has a slower and steadier onset of action however because of short duration valproic acid is given around 2 to 3 times per day whereas divalproic is given only 1 to 2 times per day chemical nature valproic acid is a monoprotic acid it is simple carboxylic acid and it is chemically 2 propyl pentanoic acid because of carboxylic acid group it can easily form the sodium salt therefore it can be converted into sodium valproate by reacting with sodium hydroxide now divalproic sodium contains both valproic acid and its sodium salt sodium valproate these two are available in a ratio of 1 is to 1 and this mixture is prepared into a tablet which is coated specially to produce either delayed release or extended release what is divalproic divalproic is a combination of valproic acid and sodium valproate in 1 is to 1 ratio what is the advantage of divalproic this medication has slower rate of absorption so it produces less gastrointestinal side effects therefore nausea vomiting and abdominal pain are less pronounced with divalproic which medication is better suitable for treating acute conditions of epilepsy valproic acid has fast onset of action therefore it is more preferred to treat acute attacks of epilepsy which medication is preferred in the treatment of bipolar disorder because of consistency in the plasma levels divalproic sodium is more preferred in the treatment of bipolar disorder this prevents fluctuations of this medication in the plasma which reduces the risk of side effects even it reduces the mood swings in the people due to consistent levels of this medication in the plasma so that's all about the differences and similarities between these two medications divalproic sodium and valproic acid i hope this video is useful to you if you really like this video please subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends post your comments in the comment box thanks for watching see you in the next video